Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Due to marginalization and feeling of a lot of um, the ethnic groups in Nigeria, they felt that they're not inclusive in the whole uh, running of Nigerian. It has led the uh, Nigerian uh, governors. It has led to uh, outcry, marginalization call, and a uh, referendum and changing governance. That didn't work. Now they've moved it uh, top higher to agitation and secession plans as in they want to leave nigeria as a whole it's not just the bia fans calling for or the doers have said they're calling that they've got they're calling very strongly while as you speak otherwise sounding a note of serious warning and the warning is quite strong it has generated so many reactions and their own is quite struggle that hey this one is getting really messy yeah. but before we go to the news proper to find out what it is otherwise saying and they're saying it very strongly and boldly and loudly as well like it subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube what well, the Arawa consultative forum that's acf has revealed that the people of the northern part of nigeria are happy with the way the country is structured hmm. Hey, hey, hey. and the word for that to say they will never support any cause for secession well it many benefits you actually why would you want to support anything that does not benefit you but let's continue well emmanuel yahweh the acf spokesperson made a statement adding that secession threat could even lead to more uh, serious issues that will cause chaos he said there's no way any part of nigeria will secede without a chaos we are so integrated that it is impossible for us to sit at a conference table and allow each part to go their ways. It is not possible. It's not a tea party. There will be chaos. Mm. If any part of Nigeria wants to secede, there will be chaos. Maybe even more serious than even chaos, maybe war. What we had before between 1967 and 1970. So if anyone is calling for secession, he's calling for chaos. And we in the North fought this war to keep this country together. So it will be a contradiction for those of us who try to stop this country from breaking up to not be engaging in activities that will break the country. We don't want this country to break up. Nigeria is a great country as it is. We have problems, but those problems are not enough for us to break up. Ah, When it comes to life and property, when it comes to threat to life, my brother, it is enough. Let's continue. We believe these problems can be remedied and these problems will only be multiplied if we go into war. We love the country. We don't like what some people are doing with the country. But for us to have come from the biggest black nation on earth, it is an honor and we should try to preserve this honor. We should try to see how we can use the resources we have to build a great world power. The rest of Africa is looking up to us. And they feel sad when we behave as if we want to break up the country. They all look up to us. We don't want the country to break up. It is better the way it is, even with all the problems. Well, if it profits you, well, it makes a lot of sense for you not to break up. Okay, but let's look at this. In fact, let's just feel the pulse of Nigerians quickly uh, before we look at things. Because I do know one thing. The way Nigeria is structured is so beneficial to the North. Look at this present day situation. In the security architecture, we have more of the North. In juicy positions of appointment, the Northern Fulanese. In, in fact, the Fulanese in particular. There's no strategic position of both economic power and security that the Northern occupy. It's a profit to you. You can always say you like it the way it's structured. But for every ethnic group to feel happy and to feel okay to still remain in the one Nigeria, then by all means, you got to restructure so that everybody will have a win-win to be a 50-50 chance. In a situation where it is a 90-10 chance, where the North takes 90 and the other regions struggle with the remaining 10, as in the other regions are struggling the remaining 10, then the situation is not favorable to other, other ethnic groups. So if you're calling that you do not like the issue of secession, you do not like the issue of agitation, that you will not allow it to happen except you're asking for chaos, then you're telling the, those people that what they're, what they're asking for, for their right, it shouldn't be given. Because if you like it as one Nigeria, and you want us, you want Nigeria to remain as that big brother 
Africa or Big Brother in Africa, then by all means, all ethnic groups should be equally represented. Okay, they had a meeting that has to do with security issues, security, uh, um, insecurity in the south, in south, southern part of Nigeria, especially the southeastern part of Nigeria. And they had come up, uh, the president said, come up with information that they feel would work. Okay. But you know you are discussing with, you are discussing issues that has to do with a, a certain re, a certain region, and you cannot pinpoint anybody representing that region in that meeting. It, it, it's not It's not even a meeting for them. It's a meeting for some persons coming to impose their ideologies in another region. That's what we are talking equal representation. It is not existing, and for that reason, people keep suspecting every move of the federal government because their people are not well represented in such meetings. So you now understand why people are saying that since we are not well ably represented in such meetings, then by all means we should start taking a walk. If you want this secession call to reduce to its barest minimum, carry everybody along. Let every region and let every ethnic group be fully represented in every architecture of Nigerian governance and you will see how Nigeria will grow. You can imagine you call a security meeting and 60 or 90, if not 100%, 80% of the people in the meeting are from a particular region. Tell me what the other regions will. If they say, okay, let's let's cast a vote. Of course, the other region will always win because they have majority in the house. So you now find out that it's a dicey situation. You can't say that you like it the way it is because it's favoring you. Why not you call other people? Why are you agitated? Okay, let's bring you on equal footing, 50-50 representation of every region. Then you see Nigeria work. So that if anything they call is not favorable to the region, the representative will begin to scream. But let's feel the pulse of Nigeria very quickly. This one here is saying, this one here is saying, uh, referendum is not a, a chaos song. You people have been bringing down other Nigerians in the farm, killing them, and at little or no provocation. But now they do, now, now they do determine their futures through referendum. Okay. It's so now they will determine their future through referendum and not through chaos. The union is not working any longer. But if peaceful separation fails, then chaos is inevitable. Wow, this is strong. This one here is saying, referendum, agreed, but it will be an Igbo referendum. That is, all Igbos voting to decide who to remain as Nigerians and those to go along with Nam the Kano. No other ethnic group will join in any referendum conceived by Kano and his group. Well, let's say this very quickly here. If referendum is referendum, it doesn't matter if it is Igbo referendum or Yoruba referendum or Hausa referendum or Tiv referendum or Shekiri referendum or referendum referendum. And that referendum will have to call for, um, do you want to go to your state? How many people are I? How many people are nay? You know, I, whatever way they will call it, it's not, whatever, however way they will do it, it doesn't really matter. But what matters is that it's not going to be an Igbo thing. Don't forget that uh, the, the, the Yorubas are also calling out for secession. Do they also want to leave? And even if if the whole thing gets even a, a bit messier, I won't, I won't be surprised if Middle Belt also will ask for their own referendum. So I think it's, it should be an open thing where all Nigerians feel free to choose where they want to go. Let's meet in that conversation. What's the take? This is quite...